Public transportation is not the number one method many people choose to get around Bryan and College Station, but for many, it's the only way they can actually get where they need to go. Yeah, the Brazos District, uh, the Brazos Transit District, rather, is one of those services and is currently facing some funding difficulties. KAG's HC News reporter Chris Costa joins us in the studio. And Chris, neither the state nor the federal governments have increased the district's funds. Luke and Amanda, that's right. While the district hasn't seen any cuts, it hasn't seen any additions either. The last increase it got from the state was in 2000. With rise, rising costs due to inflation, they've made cuts of their own, like reducing staff levels. Not only that, but they no longer have funds to replace buses or add passenger shelters. Some riders wish the service ran on weekends or came more frequently. And while the organization wants to address those requests, they say it will be hard to do so without added funding. We would like to see an increase of $18 million in operating, but that would have to come out of general revenue, and I just don't think that's in the cards because general revenue in Austin is a very precious commodity. It's like diamonds. TxDOT is partially responsible for funding the district and has asked the state government to add $15 million to their budget over the next two years. Sessions to vote on that legislation begin in January 2015. Now tonight at 10, hear what riders say they want the state and federal governments to do and what they think of the system right now.